Hi my friends, today I'm happy to show you this RC truck. It's an 8x8 MIM TGS made by ScaleArt. Enjoy! So what you see here right standing on my desk is an MIM TGS 8x8 made by ScaleArt, the very famous uh, German uh, company. And 8x8 means that all the wheels are powered. So it's an all-wheel drive truck, RC truck. And uh, yeah, when you go uh, into rough terrain, uh, it is just uh, very important that you have all uh, axles powered and all wheels powered so that you can ensure to climb all the hills that you need to climb. So what this means, how this machine is powered, I will show you in a few minutes in this video. I will just put it on its head and show you how it looks underneath the driving strain and all the components. But let's have let's first have a look at the outside. Isn't this a nice and very brilliant made machine? So all the parts you can see, the driving cap, the dump, the frame, the, the fent holders, all the parts are made out of metal. So um, if I guess, I would say that 98% of this model are made out of metal and very well engineered. Um, and it is great fun to drive with. Um, it's just simply amazing. And anybody who loves RCs will love this truck. So what you see is a driving cab made out of metal. The doors can be opened for sure so that you can put your driver in here in the driving cab. You have very nice um, tires. They have a very good profile so that you can go through or that you can go off road. Um, it looks pretty good. This is the tank. Um, this is actually the tank, the oil tank where you put Right here you can open it and you have to open it to put some oil in it so that the whole dumping mechanism that is powered by oil, there's a small machine, a small oil pump, pump included in this tank and it gives you the pressure to dump, to dump it and this is really amazing because it is like the real one, it works like the real one. So, what else can I say? Um, yeah, four axles, uh, these both are uh, steered. And let me just show you the front. Um, this is, you can see, it's an MIM. The driving cab can be opened like this. I turn it around and help you can see. Here's the mechanism, and you can easily open it, put the battery in there. Or change it and put a new one in there if it's empty. So what else can you see? For sure this truck has lights. I will show you the lights right now. Um, just to give you a few comments on the radio I'm using. It is the Scalar Commander SA5000. This is a really really nice radio and um, you see all the functions you need on the display. Let's turn it on. Did you hear that the driver is slamming the door? So, and the, the good thing concerning this radio is that you have all the, the functions displayed um, on the display. So, what you see here is, uh, what is it said? Uh, horizon so when the, the the RC truck is not going straight you see that this is reacting immediately and you also can uh, adjust the setup and alarm when it's just too in German you say sheaf um, then uh, an, an, an alarm sounds and you know that you must stop driving because you're almost dropping your RC truck somewhere in the hills. So this is really amazing. You also can see um, the battery power of the truck. Um, you see the gears um, and you have the light functions. For example, uh, we can 
turn on the lights right here we have this beacon lights um, and the hazard lights uh, and for sure you have the sound uh, just let me check where the sound is I have to turn it so you have this very nice horn and you can start the engine And for sure you have a horn, it's very important when, when driving. So that's it. Um, let's have a look from the other side. You have this very, very nice fender, these rear lights. Just let me go backwards. And you put, can put a trailer. Uh, to the truck and you can open and close it uh, via the radio good and for sure this is the first gear so it's the very strong one the very powerful And for sure you can jump and just check out the cylinder how long it is it's going and how many element elements it does have Isn't this cool? So what you also can see right here is, is the frame and the very nice driving shaft. But as I said, I will just turn in a few seconds I will turn it around so that you can look underneath. And again, uh, let's do it the other way. So let's turn it around. So how does the truck look from the underneath? Um, yeah, metal frame, metal axles. By the way, you get a lifetime warranty of these axles, so you will never have any problems with them, any issues. And if you have, you can just send them to scale out, and you will get a repair. So, axles made out of metal, the driving shaft completely made out of metal, very important. The motor, uh, the engine, the motor, the um, electric motor is a foul harbor motor. It's a very, very good and high engineered um, motor that lasts very long and is a very powerful one at a, with a hard torque. Um, you can see the diff, locks, um, the diff lock servos, this is one servo for the diff locks and this is the other one. And right here is the servo for this diff lock. So we have three servos for the diff locks and this is um, the servo which um, steers the gearbox. So let's start. Um, right at the moment uh, no diff lock is locked. So what you see, uh, as you might know from your car, or so you can 
you can turn this wheel into both directions and this wheel is going into the same or into the other direction. It doesn't matter because this diff lock is not, not locked now. You can turn them as you like. The same with these, the same with these and the last one. Now, first of all, um, let's try to explain something. Yeah, when you're going forward, let's say you see that only the rear axles are powered and these, there's no power on these axles. When you just hold these, you can see that these axles will stand still and the front axles are powered. So far, this is done by this diff lock and this uh, this this uh, it's, it's not a gearbox i don't know how you call it but it's done by this uh, um, by this box and this box is the same mechanism that you have you can lock the diff lock right here it's the same concerning this direction so what i did right now is that all the diff locks this one number one number two number three number four and number five are locked now and when we are going forward, for example, right now, you will not be able to hold any wheel stable. All wheels get the power and no wheel will just, um, you will not be able to hold a wheel. So let's see if I am right. So what you see, as I said, you can't hold any wheel. Just too much power and all diff locks are locked. So the whole driving chain is locked. And this gives you ch the chance to be successful in going off-road. And this is simply amazing. So when I now turn, on, turn off the diff locks, You see immediately that the power is only going to the back or only going to the front. And now again driving strain locked and I hope you can see it. I can't hold the rear axles and I can't hold the front axles. And this is really cool. Now I turn off the diff locks right here, number three, number four. And you see immediately that you can hold one wheel and the other is turning or this way. Turning it on again, no chance. Same with the front. Can't hold it. Can hold it. Turning it on again. No chance. And this is what I wanted to show you that this is really very important to be successful driving off road. And this is ensured by this great driving strain, strain with these great axles. So that's it. I hope that you liked this very short film and uh, I was hopefully successful in explaining you the great technical components of this RC truck by Scalat. And uh, if I was successful, please let me know by giving comments, uh, even put a thumbs up. I would be very, very grateful. This would be really great. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.